Okay, I gotta call back in the kids on this one. Because I just watched more Miraculous Ladybug and Cat Noir. And the side character action is very real in this show. I I just watched like a whole bunch of the stuff with Chloe. And like, we didn't even know she had a need. And then the need is like a healthy family. And like, she's really unhappy and stuff. And like, she's mean because she wants to be like her mom. And like... Chloe is a much deeper character than the two main characters. It's like all the characters are better than the main characters because the show end up ends up getting dragged out by the 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 love thing that they're trying to push with uh Marionette and Adrian and like this weird love square that they made that involves the same goddamn two people. And it's like, don't get me wrong, it is interesting to see these double life dynamics play out to an extent not something that should have dragged out as long as it should have but like the shit with chloe alone was super intriguing about how she just starts off being this mean girl and manipulative and stuff and then it's like she just wants to be like her mom and she just wants to be loved and like even her dad has huge issues with the way that he's being treated which is why he, when he gets akumatized, he turns into that dictator and changes his mom, changes their mom, uh, their mom, changes his wife, her mom, into a sweeter person. And, like, that's a whole fucking thing right there. Like, that's super fucking awesome. And, like, Alia's family and backstory, she's really interesting. I resonated with Alia from day one. That is the queen. And, um... They just didn't put enough work into the main characters and then drug it out on their love square double life thing. And it's like, that's not interesting. What happened with Chloe was interesting. The family dynamics with Alia are interesting. They couldn't even, could have even gotten into more, more than Nino. Like they got into a whole lot of different uh, people's family dynamics. And it's like, that's what I said earlier about how they didn't take, they didn't really they opened a lot of doors for more nuanced conversations that they had plenty of time to tackle and just chose not to. When really a lot of that was with just with Marionette and Adrian. And they did that shit with all the side characters. And when I think about it in retrospect, the side characters all end up getting way more fleshed out than Adrian and Marionette because they keep playing into this. Oh, we're going to just drag this out a little bit longer. People love this heterosexual romance thing that we're doing. And it's like, some people are super into it, yeah. And like, for the most of us, it was just really frustrating. It's like, go ahead and get together already, shit. Like, she's just a girl, you, he's just a boy. Like, what's that Avril Lavigne song? Anyway, um, for the way they made Adrian and Marinette drag out, they could have just went on with some other shit. Like, there's an anime, there's a Magical Girl anime that has new protagonists every iteration they could have done that like it would have been super cool if they had just done miraculous from the very beginning and it's like season one and two can be about adrian and marinette and like developing the world and like letting them be like our tutorial and then going into the more advanced stuff with the other characters and just kind of like leaving adrian and marinette by the wayside that would have been super fucking cool that would have been fucking cool for all these characters and all this development and all of these different powers. And of course, like when I say that, that means I, I automatically have to agree that they also should have switched out the villain and like changed. They should have really done a lot. And they had plenty to switch it up with. They just chose not to, which is like, I still stand by my lazy claim. Um, It's just like, when I think about everything that went to the side characters, it makes me even more disappointed with the show, honestly. Because, like, the shit with Chloe alone was, like, that, I hate that bitch, but that tugged at my heartstrings so fucking bad. And it's, like, I hated her because they built her up to be hated. And it's, like, it whole time, the whole time, like, this big, bad, you know, girl boss was, like, a tiny little baby inside that just wanted to be loved by her mother, who she absolutely adores so much and just wants to be everything like. Like, that shit was sad, boo. I felt for her. Like... Oh, like why? Why couldn't we get more of that? Why? Why couldn't? Come on, man! 
and then uh, no but the heterosexual love square just had to fucking take priority like oh fuck this show